let's try to calculate 3 times 32. And I like to rewrite it, and this is one way of doing it. I like to rewrite it where I have the larger number on top, so in this case it's 32, and I write the smaller number right below it. And since the smaller number is only one digit, it's only a ones digit, I put that below the ones place on the larger number. So I'll put the three right over here. And of course, we can't forget our multiplication symbol. And this is essentially a way of saying the same thing. This is, you could read this as 32 times three, but 32 times three is the exact same value as three times 32. It doesn't matter what order you multiply in. Now let's try to compute it. And once again, this is only one way of doing it. There's many ways of doing it. And I want you to think about why this works. So we can start, we'll, we'll, go with, we'll start with this three down here, and we're gonna multiply it times each of the digits in 32. So we'll start with three times two. Well, three times two from our multiplication tables, and you can figure it out even if you didn't know your multiplication tables, is six. So three times two, I'll write six right over here in the ones place. Now, we're gonna figure out what three times three is. Well, once again, we know that three times three is nine. And since I'm multiplying times the tens place right over here, I'm gonna put it in the tens place right like this. So we're done. We got 32 times three is 96. And I really encourage you to think about why this worked. And I'll give you a little bit of a hint here. I'll give you a little bit of a hint about why this worked. Remember, three times 32 is the same thing as three, three times 30 plus three times two. And if you look at it that way, that's essentially what this process did. We did three times two is six, three times 30 is 90. You add them together, you get 90 plus six is 96.